Hello, 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 and welcome to Hashtag Gaw TV, grown-ass women television. It's me, SoCal Val, here with Mickey James and Lisa Marie Barron. We're so happy to see everyone here. Hello yes. to all the live chat room guests. Ladies, it's been a minute. I am so happy to see you guys. Oh, I'm so happy to see you, too, to see your smiling face. And you, Lisa, you like oh, look lovely. I, I missed you guys. I feel like it's been a year since we've talked. I know, I know. I know. Been it's ages. been a crazy few weeks, but we are just happy to have each other here and happy to see you guys if you're just joining us for the first time. Make sure that you do a few things for us before we begin the show and the party. Make sure that you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Definitely make sure that you are a part of Team Gall and that you are subscribed to this channel. Subscribe right now. And finally, everyone's favorite, click the bell icon to yes. enable notifications so you never miss a future episode of Gaunt. You guys, I was so excited to show you this bell. It came from Amazon. I thought it'd be about this big and it's it's only this big. <laughs> it's only that big, but it's so it's, cute. <laughs> what I love about no, our bell- It's not the size of the bell. bell. Everybody hold up your bell really quick. Look how tiny mine is. It, it ring for sex. I think that they match us perfectly, our they bells. They do. Except this one. Mine says, well, ring bell for sex. But I, I passed by the Hustler store, and that was the only, I was like, oh, I need a bell. Oh. Mm, this, they all say, this was the least raunchiest bell I can find. So I apologize. That's, I was going to say, but, actually, they do all. So that, see, but that's what I mean. They all match us. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's very old school. David. Classic. <laughs> a classic Korean. beauty. Yeah. Gold. Oh, thanks. Because you yeah. like them, darling. Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And also, to you guys, don't forget, we have on the top of the hour, we have our after party Zoom chat with our Patreon members. Yeah. So exciting. Um, it gets a little bit raunchy, a little bit more, as, as Val goes, juicy, juicy, little juicy, goosey. Yeah. Yes. And um, you never know what we have surprise guests on there, too. And you get the full entire episode unfiltered on paid for the Patreon members only. Yeah. So join today, you guys. You get unfiltered, all of our mistakes, everything. Yeah, all of our mistakes. All, all of the mistakes that we don't want you yeah. to see on this short video. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, you know what, that's, I just did, uh, I don't know if you saw on Patreon, uh, my Monday Night Mickey, I did the, where I thought I saw aliens in my uh, sky. Oh my God. For Monday Night Mickey. I'm pretty sure- Did you film it? Of course I did. You have to send that video to Paranormal Caught on TV. I don't uh, on think camera. I'm sorry, Paranormal. Enough. No. I don't think it's big enough. I think it's because I had to zoom in so because it's in the sky, Lisa. Like it's in the I'm gonna I will I'm gonna send you the whole I, I screen capped on the star chart where it is in the paranormal sky. Uh, like where it is and it's the Palladius star that it was around and it's like that whole group makes this goat headed figure whatever yeah. but this star when I tell you that in in when I'm looking up at the sky it looked as big as my house um, but it looked like it was around like like a flat line of stars hmm. twinkling like lights twinkling and there was like a red red lights which is what oh. threw me off there were red lights in it there wasn't just like these iridescent lights there's other colors. there's like on par paranormal cut on on camera they they have people sending it from their iphone they have to zoom it in it's kind of grainy it's always but they still zoom. like they'll discuss it and say like what do you guys think what do you oh. think? Well, at any we need rate, to send, send that to Mel too. Well, we saw Beyond that on Patreon.com where you get the full uncut episode, but you can also listen to it about that on the podcast, on our podcast, the oh. Gawcast. Yes, that's also a hashtag, I think. You can put hashtag that you know, while you're at the gym, while you're cleaning the stalls, while you're, you know, watching the kids, put it in your ears, cooking dinner, whatever. And just listen to our beautiful voices talk about all of these things. It's also unedited. May I add? Yes. But hey, what else can we listen to? Oh, I'm so glad you brought it up. Lisa's favorite. The official theme song for Empower, the Gaw song with my girls, Chapel Heart, who are doing incredible things now. They just had the drop of their um, full album. Yeah, They're I saw favorite. that. I'm going to pick, look, I'm going to try to get on a tour with those girls. I they're, love they're, that. they're really doing it. They're really doing yeah. it. And again, I, the theme song for Empower. So 
what a weekend, you guys. I, I know we haven't talked about because we haven't really talked since Empower, since a lot of, because there's been so much stuff that's really happened and it's just mm -hmm. been, you know, value crazy. Felt well, Lisa. You yes. Know, and and we, we actually are doing a very quick turnaround of how we filmed because I have had no voice and it was bad. I, I went to a pride parade, which was so much fun. It was Milton Keynes pride. And that's when it was starting to get bad. I didn't feel too bad yet. And then it just got worse and worse to the I point know. where I was trying to Skype with my mom and it was like, there were no sounds coming out. It was, yeah. So it's been about a week and a half of me being sick. Right. And it's just been a lot of things that have happened, which is why we're saying that we've missed each other yeah. because it's just been a lot, but I have to get to the hashtag empower that's, you know, was trending for such a long time. People are still discussing it. Mickey, I mean, you're still probably feeling the fallout from that because you're also now doing things with impact so it's it's a crazy yeah. time for women's wrestling in a good way in a good way it is a great time for women's wrestling right now honestly um i think that you know obviously so much happened and uh after empower that i felt i felt like i was on this massive high and i i was like oh i can't i didn't want to talk about it or i was in a space that i didn't want to talk about it with shannon so i was kind of like uh um like, I feel good now. I'm glad we took this break because I needed the break, you know, but to reset and just kind of get in my, but yeah, I have to say, because I haven't really said Empower did fantastic. Like it was, so, not only was the show, which I already was praying and, and felt in my heart that the show was going to be good, but the, the fallout of everything that's kind of happening after and um, I just got finished filming the Knockouts Knockdown for Impact. Like we've all been a part of that before. So the Knockouts Knockdown. Um, and I was on commentary with Miss Veda Scott. Yeah, I saw some really lovely oh. tweets about your time oh. with her. She I love her. So good. I didn't realize she was. She was so good because it's you know television doing commentary live and doing it for. I was. I felt like I was rusty. I, the last time I did commentary was for NXT, but. She was so good with Val. You'll appreciate that. The, like the hit in the lower third stuff. And because yeah. we were doing it, so we're not actually seeing the lower thirds or any of those things up on the camera. So she's just throwing to them and closing. I just let her do her thing. She was rocking it. We've got to have her on. Insert, like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we have to have her on. on. Yeah, we've got to have her on. And maybe she can discuss that because especially like females on commentary, we had this conversation where like, it's sort of like a boys club and you're like, okay, how do I fit in? I don't want to step over there. You know, I've wanted to talk to Renee Young about it as well because she did a great yeah. job. And the thing is- Oh, she's fantastic. Yeah, but it's so many moving parts. There's things to remember. There's timing. You can't step over this. You don't want, you know, how are your reactions? Are you over <gasps> the top? Are you, you know, it's a lot of- Bless stuff. you. It's Thank stressful. you. Oh, did you just- Bless you. I was trying, I couldn't mute it and get over there at the same time. And My germs are just coming through, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. You'll get that on Godcast, <laughs> unedited. <laughs> Oh, oh man. yeah, we'll have to get her on. Oh my God. That, Cause that's, it's, it's yeah. not an easy feat. Yeah. Well, and I, it was exciting because Val and I got to support you via, you know, being in the oh, live God. chat. So it was Thank almost you. like being there and it was like, and we were both just saying, God, I wish I could be there. It's just such oh, a different experience being there. But, you know, the travel I and everything like that. So bad. And even Billy after he's like, where was Val? Where was Lisa? And I explained like, oh, well, Lisa had her this wedding, her wedding plan for months and Val, yeah. like the whole restrictions and the guidelines. And it was just like torturous. We couldn't figure it out. Like it just didn't work. But yeah. I did tell, like he didn't know about the fight TV. I was like, but they're doing a thing on fight. Dude, thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. Well, it's thank our you to pleasure. Fight, thank you for putting on a great show. We, it was it was actually really fun. Like Lisa said, it was kind of the next best thing to being there. So Fight TV, right. it's on the app still. You can watch the replays. And yeah, I mean, if we couldn't be there, this was probably, you know, the next awesome. best thing. It was great. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Thank God and for, Thunder for, for Kitty was there. <laughs> Thunder Kitty was there. Top of the night. Yeah. Yeah. You did great. I thought her stuff, I thought that was, there was definitely in the gauntlet itself, there was some technical difficulties that I saw. Like I had heard that there was some difficulties before, but I finally like got sat down and watched the whole pay-per-view the whole way through just uninterrupted. Nobody else, just me at the house watching it. Um, like I, I would say a week and a half, about a week after the show. And it was, I thought it was great. So I thought all the girls did. It was fabulous. And a really they did. cool array of different talent, which is what we were all excited about. But to see it all yeah. unfold, it was really, really fun. I mean, and I felt like the show built like mm -hmm. in the right way, like where it was like, 
the like old school way, fun. the old school way where we taught, you know, a little bit different yeah, kind of matches. Like, and then you build up the main event. Yeah, right. It right. It wasn't just like the matches that told the story. The show told the story to build to the, you know, I don't know. I say to build to the high, the gauntlet match, that thing. But at the Gail Kim and uh, Awesome Com segment might have been the highlight of my night. Like With the ice cream yeah. sandwich bars. Yeah. That popped me ice, so huge. It popped me huge. And how about I did not know that she was, and I don't know how I did not know this and talking to Brian Whitstein or whatever, that she was going to retire and announce that it was her last thing in wrestling. I did not I know, didn't know that. that. She announced, well, she announced it that night. And even Gail goes, I didn't know that. She, we didn't know that until she went out there and said it. Wow. Oh, movie career, I TV career. Their bond. I love Gail and, and Kia's bond. I always have. And they're, always. they're very, yeah, they're very close. And I, you know, we're fans of hers because of her fantastic wrestling career. And we're, you know, I've always thought she was amazing, but then me being such a glow wrestling fan now, I'm like, Oh my God, like, I'm oh, so proud of her. I'm I know. so proud and of her too. And I also was like, uh, you know, I never got a chance to work with her. Lisa, did you work with her? With Gail and, and Kong? Yeah. Kong and yeah. I had a, a cage match. That was um, their, their feud was what made me go to TNA knockouts to TNA or impact yeah. wrestling. Sorry. But, right. um, yeah, I was like, there were so many girls I never faced. And I was like, the product of the women were just so displayed beautifully. And that's what drew me to that organization. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I remember Another you high. Killing it. You were killing oh, it God. when I came over and, uh, I never got a chance to work with her. And I think they were going to, she was going to come in to work with me or whatever, but her back and like, mm. you know, she just, cause you know, she's, she had, I think it was like her sci sciatic. So she didn't end up coming in for it. Um, I don't know. It was also Impact or, or TNA at the time. So who knows what happened there? Yeah, I don't know what yeah. happened there, but I'm sure there were several announcements about announcements that they did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, and big, but, and big I, kudos to uh, Melina. Man, seeing her freaking like that was a throwdown battle. That looked like a match. real, like yeah. at the end, you know how you're just huffing and puffing? It looked like a freaking a real fight. They're just whatever so I can much. give passion and emotion in that match like I and I say like that for me it's hard to pick well I was just let me, let me on the Kong segment I was like you mm. know not only did we not know we that we were retiring but I never had a chance to work with her but I was also a huge fan of her from Glow and I was like whoa like what a transition into the acting world but even in the wrestling world like for impact like they were breaking down barriers they were doing all of these things um well before anybody else like I felt like impact was always ahead of the curve with the knockouts and allowing them to do they were getting double segments all the things you know I yeah one over me with a motorcycle you know I agree you, know. That's you were in the way think, you were in the way <laughs> wrong place wrong time I, yeah where is Melina I wish I could tell her match with Diana. unbelievable yeah, unbelievable. We um, would be, but I was like, that was. I was so like, good. in my feels and uh, like emotion with, and maybe that's what because she's our friend and we love her so much. And I'm like, I don't know because the people go like, oh, what's the match of the night? And I'm like, I got kind of am leaning towards Melina and Diana, but I don't know because Camille and Layla was incredible. Every match on the all the tag match, I'm just like, there were so many like little moments as far as moments, moments that Kong. And Gail moment was the best for me because it had the most emotion. And you know, I'm an emotional person when it comes to wrestling. Yeah, we all are. That's okay. <laughs> We're in a safe space. We're in the God yeah. battle. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, please don't start crying on the show. Who does that? I mean, no, don't, do it. don't do it. No, but I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm grateful <laughs> to talk about it and all of the things that are coming out of it and yes. all of the things that are going to keep going. So that's the most exciting part. Yes. Yeah, including, like, like, you know, including, you know, impact what we just did this week. Yep. The, the knockouts, knockouts. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. I wanted to maybe Thank use you. some of the footage, but we'll have to maybe get some approval. But if you guys haven't seen it, you know, make sure you're following Impact Wrestling's Twitter. Um, they've been great about putting clips out. And it's just, yeah, it's like you said, like it's that. a wonderful time to be a women's wrestling fan and in women's wrestling so they, that's thanks yeah. in large part to empower which has really kick-started the whole thing um but i have to ask you guys before we get into more uh wrestling memories what are we wearing who are we wearing what are we drinking 
Mickey, I'll go with you and then I'll go. And you want to go with me? Well, I am. Well, so I know that we had, I'm drinking some coffee because it's still early, but you know, dream your little dream. That's oh. all. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Oh, dream a little no, dream no. with me. Dolce de leche creamer, cold stone, cream, sweet, cold stone, sweet cream is in there. That's what I'm using. And it's the, um, what's the cafe, the Bustello, Cafe Bustello coffee in the French press. Oh, Some of the cheap, although they've upped the price on it because I think they've caught on, but that was, that's my go-to coffee. And it was like four bucks for a brick. Yeah, it yeah. three dollars, and then if people have caught on to it, so it's busted uh, up. So you can get yeah. like five bucks now. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? I, like I am wearing. wearing because we talked about wearing kimonos in lieu of Val Val. You always wear kimonos, and I have looked everywhere for this kimono, and I could not find it. So I found this dress that I have not worn since I brought back from the cleaners um, when I thought that they messed with the color and. <laughs> But it's very kimono esque because I felt like they, yeah, it's very kimono esque. So it's from Cache. Y'all tell me. Oh, I love Cache. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's oh, like vacation it is a kimono. Glam. It's kind of like a kimono, but it's not. It's a kimono. It's, it's a kimono. No, kimono. No, kimono. No. It's got that same vibe. Yeah, that's, yeah, I can it's see like in, in it's Capri, beautiful. like sipping a cocktail by the pool in that. Have you done a photo shoot in that? Have you done a um, photo shoot in that? Yeah, this was from, I've not worn this since, uh, honestly, my first run, I think, in WWE, because when I took it to the cleaners, because there was a wine stain or something on it, there was something on it. Yeah. And I, so I took it to the cleaners, and this was, like, it kind of looks pearly white now. When you look at it, it looks like a pinky pearl. Um, it was white, like white. Ah. So whenever, whatever they did at the cleaners, it picked it, up the yellow, it picked up the pink, pink and the white. So, but maybe I'm just like, uh, so to me it was ruined. Cause I was like, ah, so it's been in the baggie ever since. It's still beautiful. It's I gorgeous. It out for you. It's, it's brand idea. new. And now I'm like, oh, I actually could wear this again when I put you it. You can. Out. It's beautiful. Yeah. I um, I'm I'm rocking a kimono. I have a Ted Baker kimono. It feels a little Ooh. bit bridal. It's got lace all the way down with it some hilarious. Leopard looks pants. very bridal. It's very bridal, but I thought you know it's, yeah. it's hard because when we film, I a lot of times I don't today have Tanner on, and I thought let me wear this before I ruin it with Tanner eventually because that is what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, and and I've been so ill. I literally, as I'm sitting here, I think I, I think my fever is back because I'm like sweating. I have cold medicine I've taken. I just have Sprite in my Gaw TV mug. Cause it's somewhat oh. early here and I just don't feel, you know, I'm not feeling good if I'm not having a cocktail, you guys. No. Yeah. Oh, but where'd you get that cup, that mug? Diet Sprite. Well, Lisa, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> if you were to look in the YouTube description, you can find a direct link to our Gaw TV store. This yes. is of course our favorite mug. We have different variations of that. We've got fanny packs. We've got t-shirts. Pillows. You could want. Yeah. All in the Gaw store, all official merchandise represent. It's a conversation starter. We hope that you'll go see it again in that description. Lisa, I can't believe how beautiful this kimono is on you. So I want to hear all oh. about your kimono. She better don't moment. Oh, well, no. well, let me start. Let me start with my 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 drink first. I oh. am drinking my Death Wish coffee. Um, it has a warning label: three times the amount of caffeine. So speaking of Cafe Bustelo, I get mine at the Dollar Tree or the ninety nine cent store. It's still two ninety nine or three ninety nine. I think they smarten up too by the brick. And I have to add a little bit of Cafe Bustelo to the Death Wish because this gets me amped and just bouncing off the walls. Yeah. But um, it's my favorite coffee. I can't even do other coffee because the caffeine. I don't feel it anymore. Isn't that terrible? Yeah. Your tolerance terrible. is up now. That's Your tolerance and so, is roof. And then I just did a Stockton Comic Con appearance. Um, this past um, two weeks ago yeah. and um, I was like I just wanted a kimono like uh, uh, like almost like an authentic kimono I passed by this place they at the last day they put this kimono out oh my god Lisa. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I know uh, they didn't have the bun or anything like that I did have to google which way to put the the front lapel like yeah. like you have to do right under left if you do it the opposite, it's for funerals, for 
for someone that's being buried. I did not know this. And then I Googled because I was going to put chopsticks in my hair. My hair. Oh. It's offensive. Oh. I didn't know. It came up under the kimono thing. Like, you know, it's almost a little bit not PC, but I was like, I thought that's the style to wear chopsticks in your hair. But I just, just in case, didn't want to piss off Lena Yada being disrespectful. Um, but isn't that nuts? Isn't that nuts? And I just got this in the mail. I thought it was an Amazon purchase and I finally opened it today and it said from Nick Aldis and Mickey James. I love they, it. It's a widow. And I love it. widow. Yes. It's so gorgeous. It's so okay. freaking gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. It made my, made my whole week. Well, made oh, my whole week. Well, doing signings. That's what I always think about with jewelry. I always think like, you know, this would look cool at a signing. You know, you got a big ring on or something and you're using your hands a lot. <laughs> Hey-o. Uh, <laughs> Hey-o. <laughs> Is that that? Is that that? Is that a? Yeah, like, yeah. Um, but uh, oh, that, 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 that was one of both. But no, but now that you're doing more signings, you'll have to wear that to your upcoming signings because you've got one coming up in LA. You're both now getting LAX. back in the scene finally. Yeah, Things LA Fan Fest. God, it, there's like over a hundred wrestlers there in um, at the Hilton. It's LAX um, Fan Fest. Uh -huh. um, every day, I'm looking at the site. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to be there. She's going to be. It's, it's a huge event, so I'm I'm super excited about that. Um, I just forgot how exhausting Comic Cons are, though. You're on your feet and you're there for all day long with no, like yeah. you know, you can take a, a occasional break, but I don't want to miss out on anybody. Yeah. But um, you know, and of course, after that Stockton Comic Con, I was so exhausted. And I do want to apologize for everybody. I wasn't part of the uh, Patreon because of my dog and also on top of Daphne's loss. It was just a shambles of a week last week, but I'm much better, much better. Just um, you know, taking it day by day. You know? That's what you have yeah. to do, and we're so sorry yeah. about all that yeah. news of Will Sheldon. Um, but yeah, I have, to, I have to say, though, I've seen that you've been super busy, and Mickey, you've been more busy with some appearances and things like that coming up. You mentioned earlier about travel. I'll, thank goodness, be able to travel to the States in here in a few weeks. Say, so we exciting. better talk about this. Yes, watch this space. So I've got some things brewing with, uh, you know, a couple appearances. Maybe see these ladies while I'm there. Why not? That's... So we'll see. Yeah. So Sarah, excited. It's about time. Cool. I messaged Arden? Michael. I well, I messaged Michael about um, Miami. I already messaged. Oh him. yes. So um, he actually messaged me back. So I got to message him back about this. We have a lot of plotting to do. Let's put it that way. We, we've you know when we started the show, we we promised you guys we would do some live stuff, some in person stuff, you know, maybe some shoots. So we're trying to work on that. I'll be home for a month, so we're hoping to get some um, interesting goth segments filmed for you guys. Yes. Yeah. God yes. reunion, baby. God reunion in person, yes. too. Oh, my God. Finally. Yeah, it's been ages. I mean, I haven't even been home in about two years now because of friggin Miss Rona running around like a crazy person. Right. Which is annoying. But yeah, yeah. It is. it's finally opening up. And, and I have to say, um, the fans have been so sweet when I said something about going home. They're all like, oh, my God, finally, they've been so happy. But yeah. ladies, we're, we have more to talk about next week. We're going to actually have some exciting guests to come on. I know that Mickey... Um, you wanted to discuss some stuff next week about a very special initiative that the Impact Wrestling Gals have Absolutely. put together. Well, it's not the Impact Wrestling Gals. It's actually um, a just this week as we were leading into Knockouts Knockdown. I think that coming off of Daphne and all of the uh, you know stuff that had transpired, even like to where I was uncomfortable talking about Empower, because it was literally as I was driving home from St. Louis, that's when, uh, you know, she had went on Instagram and then even, so I just, and it was so much had happened. So uh, I think that it kind of set everyone back in a place. I don't, I mean, obviously this, we're all very transparent here and whatever, but I think that between that, um, her death and then, uh, you know, Ashley and China and, and it's just, so much and i think that we we talk about mental health but we don't talk about it and i think we as females are more open in our locker rooms a little bit but there's still that um you got to be tough you got to be strong don't sell it all of these things as well so there's a really cool campaign that um I've just kind of been asked to help with or help on the other end of it. And it'll kind of, it'll come out the beginning of October. So it's going to start, but it's not really tagged with any wrestling company. It's more just, you know, about for everyone. Uh, but I'm really excited about that, but it's Alita and Christy Hemi and Gail and Kong 
I have to give it to them because they're the ones that are kind of heading it up for the most part. I just kind of literally just got tagged in a bit ago to kind of see what we could do to help because they knew I was going to be at knockouts knockdown. And so I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be really, really powerful. I know that they're going to be teaming up with some uh, existing charities. We're going to team up with some to raise awareness for mental health and to, uh, you know, make it okay to have the conversation, especially with your friends. So I'm really excited yeah. about that. And it's something pretty powerful that I think was, uh, you know, what Shannon wanted to do anyway, was kind of make a change or whatever. And mm -hmm. I think that even she would be like super proud. Yeah. So and, yeah. proud. and, and we're proud, stronger so. together and that's what that's about. And that's why it's good that, like you mentioned, it's not just one promotion it's just all the girls rallying together and and, and it yeah sometimes I hate to and say it, it but it takes something horrible for us to kind of you know everyone needs to realize how big of a deal it is so we have uh, more info on that coming up and of course make sure you're watching um all of the knockouts knockdown uh there's been some dramatic moments Mickey my goodness oh, drama drama well I think it's important to say that that thing I know that they want to gear it not just towards women like mm -hmm. obviously it's all oh. women who have, who have kind of started but they it really want to just encompass i feel like it's bigger than wrestling in my opinion like this yeah. whole campaign but they that want to encompass everybody that's why it's like don't want to brand it with one specific promotion but rather than all the talent involved yeah. that might need it or whatever so it's open to everybody we love yeah. that yes that's yeah fabulous. Well, but knockout knockdown was amazing by mm. the way if we could yeah. just go ahead and talk about that for real quick. Uh, I had so much fun this weekend. Oh, I thought you were going to do that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just getting tuned yeah. in. Huge, you know, <laughs> kudos to Gail Kim. There were some really magical moments, too, that happened on that show. I was honored to be able to sit there with Veda Scott, and uh, the girls kicked ass as they do, as you yeah. do. Yeah, it was great. It was it was really great to see. And it's just cool to see women's wrestling like kind of step up across the board and to see Impact go like, oh, let's do our knockouts. I mean, it's coming up to Bound for Glory anyway. So everything's building to there. And, you know, so yeah, exciting we're excited. Stuff. Excited. We're excited. Stuff. Talk about social peaks. I can't wait for some of those. That'll be fabulous. Well, I next week, yes, more right social peaks. Because my arms are still. <laughs> <laughs> They're stiff. I you need a massage. I wrestled, y'all. I wrestled, yo. Good oh. lord. Well, we have uh, some really fun guests coming up and more info on the initiative that Mickey just mentioned next week. But as you guys know, what we're about to do is head over to our Zoom after party, which is at the top of the hour, as Lisa mentioned in the beginning of the show. So 6 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be 11 p.m. for those of us, including me, in the UK. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You have some time to join if you're not on patreon.com slash gawtv. Join right now, and we'll see you for that live interactive yes. after party. After party, let your hair down, guys. Just say, let it loose. <laughs> let it doing. loose. Oh, let it loose. Oh, my neck. My neck. I can't believe it's, it what? feels like it's flown by. I can't believe it's over. Thank you to everyone. Also, I in the chat down here, thanks for being here. And we love you so much. Val, I hope you feel better. Thank I you so much. So I'm going to be probably uh, there with bells on, meaning more Sprite and some cold medicine. So, yeah. Yes. Wait for that. Everyone, give us your recommendations for when Val is back in the States of things we should do from yes. Gaw TV. So we yes. got Miami. Like to We're going to do Miami. We're going to figure that one out. Miami. Um, yeah. Photo shoots. I think Photo that shoots. you guys should come to Vegas while I'm there for Impact. I, I have another, Vegas. I have an appearance in Texas yeah. that weekend. Well, before the Zoom chat, yeah. we're going to get plotting. And, and But Mickey's right. Please let us know here, I mean, in the comments or at the after party, what you'd like to see us uh, do once we're all actually together. So maybe something live, maybe something you guys could be a part of as photo well. Photo shoot. He was, he was posted. Photo shoot. Got to do yep. a photo shoot. Uh, some type of visiting something. Yeah. 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 Maybe we Cocktail could do a parties? ghost tour. Huh? Cocktail, Cocktail party? parties. Cocktail parties. Yeah. All the things. Right, we're the just campaign reception. Why not? Yeah. Why not? We'll discuss more on Patreon. You guys get over to Patreon. We'll see you there in just a moment. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for Cheers, hanging babe. with us. I love y'all so much. Love I love you. you guys. I love you. Thank you. It was We're nice. united and it feels <laughs> so good. We're feeling great. This is the word go, y'all.